everyone, this is Liza and welcome back to my channel. And for today's vlog, I'll share with you na guys, nag-crack yung Kindle ko. So guys, as you all know, I bought my very first Kindle for a little over 2 months or almost 3 months already. And I really enjoyed this. I actually wrote a blog about this on why I finally purchased a Kindle. And I have... Or I did quick reviews of the good, the bad, and the worst about it. And I hope you could check that out on my blog. I'll link it down below. And, ayun nga, sobrang nag-enjoy ako using this one. And so far, okay yung reading experience ko with Kindle. I now understand why people are raving about it. And now I understand why people have transitioned from reading the physical book. To Kindle but then of course I still have my books here but iba pa din nga naman pag Kindle and I've personally experienced that however I realized nung isang beses actually I noticed nung isang beses when I was trying to change my case alright so meron siyang crack <laughs> sobrang sad I'm not sure how can I show this to you guys but this is the Kindle that I bought. This is the Kindle Basic, the new, the latest model, so the 11th uh, generation. So how can I show this to you guys? So from here, mararam kita siya from the naked eye, eh. pero sa camera mukhang hindi. But kapang kapasha, ito mas kita ito sa likod. This one, I'm not sure how can you see it, but this one. And then, sa kabila, ganun din. So, magkabilaan sila, makakapamo. And, yung isang side, sobrang laki niya. It's from here. Crack niya from here up to here. Kitang-kita siya. And, this one naman, this side is from here. Uh, ayan, from here. Up to here. Up to here pala. So, mas mahaba ito. So, ito lagay una kong napansin. And, surprisingly, nakuha ko yung cracks using the Amazon, uh, what do you call this, official cases. So, dahil nga, ito yung first ever Kindle ko and I want the best for it. <laughs> I really want good stuff that comes with it. So, so this is the Kindle, right? And then, naghanap talaga ako ng mga Kindle cases na original. I mean, they're not cheap, guys. So, I have two. I have pink. So, I have the pink one and I have the denim one. And these two ones are really good kasi what I like about the original cases, the Amazon fabric cases, it has a magnet sa likod. So, when you are trying to read, ayan, so hindi mag hindi gagawin yung flap o yung cover. So, it's not loose. So, ayan o. So, may magnet siya. And, parang iPad, pag sinara mo at magko-close yung Kindle mo and then pag open mo, automatic mag-open siya. And, I tried to read also from Reddit na may mga ganito palang cases na meron talagang crack sa gilid yung Kindle nila. From the cases na masikip, nasikip yung pinakagilid. Ako, I didn't mind at first na masikip yung gilid nga naman ito. Kasi baka that's the way it is. And baka talagang for protection siya. But then, nung nakita ko yung crack, and then nung nakita ko nga yung crack, and then, ayan, sabi ko, shocks, ito nga yung dahilan. Kasi nga, magkabilang gilid pa talaga. Kasi yung pantay, magkabilang gilid yung gasgas niya. And it's from these cases. So, sayang. So, I'm not sure how can I... Uh, I mean, I don't know what to do about these cases anymore. But I tried to buy na lang a different case na medyo friendly. So, I got this one. Actually, may iba pa akong cases na meron akong uh, transparent one. Parang silicone type. So, yun. Pero yung screen naman, yung iniingatan ko. Kasi nga, maraming... Uh, post din na madaling magasgas talaga yung Kindle. So, I got this one. So, ganyan siya. 
So, dito, fabric na rin yung nandito. So, hindi siya ganun kasikip. And then, pwede nga adjust kasi may velcro strap. There you go. And then, may magnet din siya. So, hindi siya nakaloose din when you're trying to read. And then, what's good here is meron siyang strap. Ayan. So, you can use it if you want to read like this one. Or sa kabilang kamay mo. And then, meron din siyang, ayan. So, if you want to read it while eating, yan, so, pwede, pwede mo siya itayo. Yan. I like this one, kaso, bulky. <laughs> I know this is not a case na favorite or the most favorite of the Kindle people out there, but, or Kindle users out there, but, I really want to keep it protected. Alam mo yun? Parang, ay nako, sayang. Because Kindle is not something na, I want to buy ng paulit-ulit and multiple multiple devices. Well, I know some people has ano has um multiple Kindle devices, iba-ibang model, and I have nothing against it. It's just that for me, uh, one is enough, and I really um I was really hoping na magtatagal siya sa akin. So yon, so may crack siya. So what did I do? So, at first, I tried to chat yung pinilahan ko the on, from the online platform. Because I bought this from, ano eh, a trusted naman, authorized, authorized seller siya. So, it's a trusted seller. So, I tried to give them, give them a chat and asked if saang Amazon ba nila binili. And sure enough, uh, iba-iba pala. So, minsan US, minsan Canada, depende daw kung saan galing, kung saan magiging available yung stocks nila. So, I took my chances. I gave Amazon US a chat from their support. Sinabi ko lang, as in, sinabi ko lang talaga na my Kindle uh, got cracks from the Amazon fabric cases. And instantly, they tried to ask my device uh, serial number. So, I provided it. And then, turns out, my device was actually bought from Amazon Canada. And they don't have any jurisdiction daw about it. But they already told me that they can replace it agad. It's just that, hindi US, dapat Canada. So, binigyan nila ako ng link. They're really helpful actually. Thank you, Amazon. So, this is my first time to do a return and yung replacement ng device. So, I really took advantage of the warranty. So, what happened was, yung customer service gave me a link where I can chat agad or directly to a customer service representative of Amazon Canada. So, I did that. Actually, a starting church service nung ginagawa ko yun. And that shows how quick yung response ng Amazon support system. Or su support system, customer support nila. Kasi, hello, sa Pilipinas, sobrang daming verification pa, ang daming gagawin, ang daming, ano, waiting period, daming waiting time, like, yung may, may prompt, may music prompt, for you to wait, parang let me hold you for two minutes, na ganyan. But then, for Amazon, wala. Sobrang efficient, okay? Well, that's based on my experience, alright? So, sobrang bilis, the Amazon Canada support representative asked me of the device number, so I gave them the serial number again. And again, sinabi ko lang na, as in, simple lang ng chat ko. Sabi ko talaga, nagkaroon ng crack, syempre in English, nagkaroon ng crack sa gilid yung Kindle ko, bagong Kindle ko, using the Amazon Fabric case. And instantly, they just check the number, they just check, check the device, registered to my Amazon account. Instantly, they replied, sabi, okay, we'll be processing your replacement device. So, ipapadala na nila yung replacement device. Diba? Ganun kabilis. And just as a matter of less than 10 minutes, I guess, depende kung gano'n kabilis ako mag-reply. Kasi I'm checking the serial number and whatnot. Ganun lang, sobrang bilis. Hindi ka nila pag Actually, they are the ones waiting for your response. And then they will respond to you uh, immediately. So, okay na, established na na papalitan nila yung device. So now, the next problem was, since it's from Amazon Canada, they cannot ship outside Canada or to Philippines. 
sabi nila, kung gusto ko daw na Amazon to Philippines, dapat Amazon US. But then I told them that actually, yun yung una kong pinuntahan na Amazon US and they told me na Amazon Canada talaga yung pwedeng mag-process nito. So they were telling me na unless I have a Canadian address, then they cannot process a replacement device. So I remembered that I have a buy and ship account. So it's really helpful that you have all these sources or mga resources when you do online shopping. So medyo nagbubunga yung pagiging online shopper ko that I also use even international. So I remember that I have a buy and ship account and yun, I sabi ko, wait, I think I have a, an address in Canada. So there's a there they have a Canada warehouse to buy and ship and I'm really thankful for that. So I was able to use my account and credit for the shipping. So yun yung binigay kong address and I also did a vlog about using buy and ship for your fast um delivery of merch. So you can check it out. I can also link the video here. So that you can see the process on how to use the buy and ship. So this one, so ito may plastic ako ng buy and ship kasi nga sa kanila galing yung pinaka item. So sila yung nag-deliver sa akin from Amazon Canada. And since nag-holiday, holiday season, so medyo tumagal lang yung dating ng device. But well, dumating din siya. <laughs> so siguro kung nawala lang holiday, tuloy-tuloy lang, mabilis lang yung dating sa akin ng device. And it came in this one. There's a bigger box pa that came with it because yun nga, because buy and ship still repacks it ng mas maayos and mas okay. So, you have the buy and ship here. Binuksan ko na because ang dami kong box na kailangan isink. So, I have the Amazon box here. Bago talaga siya kasi I had to tear off the, uh, what do you call this, the tape here. So, yun. And then, the device replacement is actually the same. Same din yung pinaka uh, memory or the storage niya. So, ito ngayon, this is the device. Uh, this is the replacement device. So, ito yung may crack. I already deleted the contents nung may crack. And I already deregistered the device from my Amazon account because I have to send this back to Amazon Canada. And how do I do that? Uh, meron silang in-email sa akin that I have to print as my, ano, um, yung ididikit ko dun sa parcel. So, yon So, baka I can do this. May malapit na LBC naman near our office. I can do that sometime, let's say, this, I think this week. yon So, ngayon, I am painstakingly <laughs> downloading all my books from my Amazon account. And what's really good lang with the Amazon account is all the books that I have um, on this device, kasame siya sa cloud, and eto, sinig ko lang siya dun sa Amazon account ko, and andito na siya ulit, lahat-lahat ng books. And even those books that I have already marked red, yung mga nabasa ko na, ayan, andito siya, and ayan. I actually, I actually need to download them all. Ayan, so, I hope this one to magalalu sa akin because I'm not planning on purchasing a new one. Though, alam mo yon, parang dami ko rin na babasa online na maraming nag paper white na paper white na Kindle. Now, na ngayon nag na try mag switch to the basic, the smaller one. Kasi daw mas mabigat na daw yung signature. Sorry, mali ako. Na paper white. Mas mabigat yung paper white na version. But maraming may gusto ng paper white. I think magugustuhan ko rin yung paper white. It's just that it's heavier. And sabi nga waterproof. But I'm nowhere placing this device naman in any body of water. So yun. Yun lang naman. So share ko sa inyo how efficient um Amazon is when it comes to returning the devices and it's really my first time to do it. Actually, nagaano pa ako. Nadalawang isip ako kasi I bought the Kindle on a an online platform, local online platform natin. So doon ko siya nabili. So iniisip ko who should be doing this? 
if ibabalik ko ba dun sa seller. Kaso it might take a long time. I'm not sure. And tingin ko, marami namang tanong kasi sa akin. Yung customer service. Kaya, and not sa seller. So, yun. So, inisip ko na lang to chat Amazon right away. And true enough, hindi naman ako nagsisi. And it's something na one for the books and it's a good experience for me. I'm not sure on the experience of others when it comes to the return and replacement of devices. But for me, definitely sobrang ganda ng experience ko. Plus, hindi ako makapaniwala na kapag Amazon ka talaga nagpa-replace ng device, they, don't, they didn't even ask for proof. They didn't even ask for photos na asan yung crack, patingin, patingin, yung ganyan. <laughs> ako lang yun, patingin, patingin. Pero, di ba kasi minsan, we need proof to really validate. I guess, asking for proof naman is not a problem kasi it's for us to validate kung talaga bang sira, di ba? Or talaga bang totoo yung sinasabi natin. Kasi, syempre, lost din yun sa kanila, no? And in any businesses, tingin ko kailangan talaga ng proof. But, in Amazon, sobrang okay. Kasi, siguro hindi, ako tingin ko, ah, tingin ko, hindi na rin talaga unusual yung issue. Kasi nga, from reading, reading from Reddit, parang may mga similar issues na about it. And one, one uh, post dun sa Reddit, parang three times na ata pilta niya, Amazon yung Kindle niya. Iba, sinisipon ako. Yan, so, parang three times na pinalitan ng Amazon yung Kindle niya because of the crack sa gilid. So, I guess it's really on the case. So, sad to say, I have to stop using the Amazon fabric cases. I like them pa naman. But then, kahit gusto ko man yung aesthetics of it or the functionality of it, functionality of it, kung sisirain naman niya yung device ko, eh, wag na lang. So, yun. Sayang lang kasi binili ko siya. So, I'm not sure how can I return this. Like, pwede ko may benta to. Though, binan, binili ko lang naman din to sa, sa ibang tao. Pero, legit ones. But, pakay benta ko na cheaper. Much, much cheaper amount. So, yeah. Nakipost ko na lang sa Facebook ng Kindle. Or, Kindle Groups. But, I'm not sure if people will buy it after you know, watching this one, kung, mababa, kung, mababa, kung mapapanood nila yung vlog ko, but, it's a personal experience, I'm not saying that these are, these are not good, these are really good, I like these cases, and I really hope these were the source of the crack, but they are, sobrang sad ko, kasi gusto gusto ko yung case na to, and I was planning to buy the green one, anong, basta yung green nito, Gusto ko pa naman. Parang gusto ko kompletuhin. And I like using the other original cases. Kasi, di ba, minsan ka na nga lang bumili, ba't di pa yung original? Tapos ba't hindi pa yung maganda? So, yun. I'm just sad to say na nasira yung Kindle ko with this one. Hindi naman sirang-sira, pero nag-crack. Eh, so, nakatakot kasi baka bumuka yung Kindle. Lalo na tong kabilang side, as in, Sobrang laki ng crack niya. And it's so sad kasi it's my first Kindle. You know, it grows on me. So, yun. So, let's see how it goes. And I'm using a different case naman na. So, I just hope I could find a slimmer case na protected pa din the device. And I really wish this device would go a long way with me because I really want to read more books. I have a goal to read more books this year or, well, more than before. <laughs> na naka-physical copy ako. And I'm also downloading some books I find online. Well, believe it or not, mabilis lang ako maghanap ng e-books na libre. So, yun. Tingin ko yun lang naman. Really excited to get this replacement device kasi nga, I, I really wanna see how things go. And Amazon did not, did not disappoint. Yun lang. So, that's it. So, this is my experience of the replacement or the return, return and replacement devices from, ano, 
from Amazon. And ayan, continuous pa rin yung pag um, download ng books ko from kin- from Amazon. Kasi medyo madami nga siya. <laughs> Ang dami niya. So, ayan. So, para ako nagsiset up ng bagong Kindle. Medyo hassle din pala. No? So, ayan, pero, I hope things would uh, be better on this one. Yun lang. Yun lang. So, yun. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope I can do some book review, online book review or video book review, but sana hindi ako tamarin about it. And I really do have a different perspective when it comes to books, but then, still, I love reading them. So, yun. Okay, balik lang ako sa pag-download ng mga books ko online. Alright? See you guys. Thanks for watching.